Gum disease affects the mouth. Diabetes affects the blood. No relation, right? Wrong. Medical evidence increasingly suggests periodontal diseases may play a role in numerous conditions that impact general health and well-being, including diabetes. Here to discuss the connection is Dr. Mario Velardi, president and publisher of Dear Doctor magazine. Dr. Velardi, welcome back to the show. Thank you. First of all, explain what diabetes is. Diabetes is actually high blood sugar. And if you think of the blood sugar, that's the actual energy source of the body. That's what makes the body work very naturally and healthy. But if the blood sugar doesn't get from the blood vessels into your body, then we lose that energy source. And what allows that to happen is insulin. And so how many people are affected by diabetes in this country? Well, 23 million people have diabetes. What I find interesting is that the American Diabetic Association estimates that there's six million people walking around that are diabetics that don't know it, and that there's about 20, uh, 40 million people that are pre-diabetic that have elevated blood sugar, but are, are not diagnosed yet as a, as a diabetic because it's not high enough. That is interesting. One of the other things that's interesting is one out of every four 60-year-olds in our country are diabetics, which is alarming. Wow, that is very alarming. And now, mm -hmm. what is the connection then between gum disease and diabetes? Well, they actually are both chronic diseases, and they both make each other worse. Periodontal disease makes diabetes have a much more challenging time to control their blood sugar. And if you're a diabetic, that's a, a risk factor for periodontal disease, and periodontal disease gets much worse. So what comes first, the chicken or the egg, so to speak? I mean, does having gum disease mean you're more likely to develop diabetes, or does having diabetes mean you're more likely to develop gum disease, or is that not the relationship? Well, they are related, uh, but diabetes won't cause gum disease. Okay. But if you're a diabetic, you're more vulnerable to losing bone. And the way okay. it works is, is simply, is if you don't get that energy from the blood vessel into the body, your body's not functioning on all eight cylinders, so your resistance is lower. So if you're a diabetic with uncontrolled blood sugar, mm -hmm. you're more vulnerable to losing bone and your teeth much faster in life. But let's say you don't have diabetes and you develop gum disease. Are you then at higher risk of developing diabetes or not necessarily? Not necessarily. Okay. That's related. Diabetes is related to your uh, inheritance, your genetics, mm -hmm. but also your environment. For example, if you think of the body as a 180-pound person produces enough insulin for 180 pounds, but if you gain too much weight, all of a sudden you, you don't have more insulin being produced. So now you're deficient in your insulin that your body needs. And then you, beca you can become a diabetic just because of, of gaining too much weight. Right. So we, yeah, we, we know that, that link between diabetes and obesity. Mm -hmm. This is the first time we've discussed the link between diabetes and gum disease. And you say that one of the key factors here is to make sure that the lines of communication between your dentist and your physician remain open. That's very, very true. If your physician is having a hard time controlling your blood sugar, then you might want to, you know, have him or you evaluate whether or not you have a dental problem by sending you to the dentist and make sure you don't have gum disease. Because if you, w there's research that shows that if you have uh, gum disease and periodontal disease together, it's six times more difficult to control your blood sugar. Mm. And so obviously, if you do have diabetes, you should also share this information with your dentist. Right, right. And y it, with, when you go to the dentist, even if you have a family member that's a, that's a diabetic, let your, your, your dentist know mm -hmm. so that if he's having a problem controlling gum disease, he can then look at your medical history and say, you know what, I need you to go get a blood test. I want to rule out that you have a, a diabetic problem. And what can be done? What advice do you have both for people who don't yet have this problem or are dealing with the problem? Well, control of the blood sugar is crucial for not only your oral health, but your whole body's health. It affects every organ system in the body. And they're just starting to accumulate research to prove that. But with regards to periodontal disease, periodontal disease will make it so much harder for you to control the diabetes because if you think about periodontal disease as being a, a wound mm -hmm. because there's bacteria affecting it all the time, it's like the ulcer the size of your forearm and bacteria creates a compromised immune system and, and doesn't function as well. And so obviously the key to avoiding getting any kind of periodontal disease is regular checkups, regular cleanings, yes. correct? All right. In fact, one of the things that you would do behind, besides practicing preventative dentistry, like good oral hygiene, mm -hmm. 
Uh, you might want to see your dentist more than twice a year for cleanings. It might be that the, the appropriate time is three or four times, depending upon how vulnerable you are to gum disease. And finally, aside from diabetes, are there any other health risks associated with periodontal disease? Well, that's what they're studying and finding a relationship mm -hmm. with this, this change in the immune system based on the, the response from the periodontal disease and the infection that it's created, mm -hmm. that it affects the heart, the, the, the kidneys, the uh, you know, the, the diabetes particularly is, is, they're even studying arthritis. Bottom so. line is keep your teeth clean and see your dentist often yes. and you'll be doing your, not only your teeth, but your whole body a whole lot of That's good. Exactly Dr. Right. Velarde, thank you so much. And for more information, be sure to check out the latest issue of Dear Doctor magazine. ABC News Now. Good to know.